until recently, to send emails out of Sage 50, you had to have a Mappy compliant desktop email program such as Outlook or Thunderbird installed on your computer. With the recent release of the 2017.1 update, Sage has finally given us the ability to work with, with webmail. So I'm going to show you how to set that up. It's really easy. Uh, if you go to the maintain menu and then down to email setup, the default setting is going to be here to use the default email program, but we can change it to use a webmail account. So you change your setting there and click to add account information. Here you can choose between Outlook.com, Gmail, Yahoo, or other. Um, if you choose um, any of the first three, Outlook, Gmail, or Yahoo, you'll just put in your email address. If you choose other, then you'll put in your email address as well as the SMTP server, SMT port, and whether or not you should use a secure connection. If you don't know these settings, you'll need to contact your email provider um, to, to get those. With Gmail or Yahoo, you will probably have to um, change some settings on your account to allow less secure uh, mail apps to work with it. And in fact, with Gmail, if you choose that, you will get this message right here. You have selected Gmail. You may also need to authorize Sage50 to send email through your account. Have a link how to configure properly, which will bring up this really useful 404 page not found error. Hopefully Sage will get that corrected soon. Um, but for now, it's not difficult to set up because Gmail will actually send you an email with a link in it that you can go to to uh, configure your account properly. So I'm going to choose an Outlook.com account here. I'll just click OK. <clears throat> I notice it didn't ask me for a password there. So um, if I want to always BCC myself, I can check that box. And uh, while we're in here, I'll just point out that this is where you can come to customize the the text on your outgoing email messages for each of these types of transactions. I'm going to click OK to save my changes there. And then we'll bring up an invoice. And we're going to click the email button and send. And now instead of it popping up uh, an Outlook email message, you'll see we get this window right here. Um, has the PDF attached to it. And the, and the message right there. If I click send, it would pop up and ask me for my email password. It will do that for the first time in each session. So as long as you stay in this company, or as long as you keep Sage 50 open, it will remember that password. But if you close Sage 50 or change companies, then it'll ask you for your password again and remember it for the remainder of that session. So that's all there is to it. Just go to the Maintain menu, choose Email Setup, and you can configure your webmail service to work with Sage 50.